Ana. Look in any direction on this central Arkansas farm and it's soybeans as far as the eye can see. From sunup to sundown, huge combines comb these fields, cutting the beans from the ground. Let's give you a view that you may never have seen before. Inside the giant equipment, hauling in the harvest of one of the most versatile crops in the world. Quarterbacking the soybean harvest team is Dow Brantley. Dow and his dad are partners at Brantley Farms. It's a big operation, growing more than 9,000 acres of crops each year. Dow, we really came at the perfect time, harvest in full swing, and here you see the soybean in the process of drying. These are almost there and these are ready to go. Mm -hmm. What did it take to get this plant to this level? You, you know, it's a lot of hard work. And this year, because of the situation, the drought, a lot of irrigation to make this crop, to make these beans. Uh, on, on top of that, we're working very hard to keep the weeds out of it and, and insects as well. So. This is about a six month process? Y you could say that, yeah, five month to six month process. Yeah, we planted in April and here it is September. And so once once this goes in the ground, is, is someone out here all the time? You bet. We're around seven days a week to harvest, uh, doing all the above, from irrigation, spraying for insects, weeds, you name it. Uh, somebody's around every day. So it's not just plant and pick? No, no, no. I wish it were that easy, but no, there is a lot to see about these crops to get the high yields that we want to achieve. Once harvested, the Brantley's beans are crushed and turned into oil or meal. More than half of the soybeans produced in Arkansas are shipped down the Mississippi River and exported worldwide through the Port of New Orleans. It blows my mind how many things the soybean is actually used for. Sure, sure. Yeah, thousands, I, I don't know, anywhere from uh, styrofoam to crazy. oil, yeah. so you, you name it, I think a soybean's in it. Dow's career path took him off the farm for a time, acquiring technology skills he was able to apply to the family business on his return. Today, those computer programs, equipment enhancements, and crop monitoring systems have improved yields. Dow brought skills that we really needed. Uh, we had opportunity, we had uh, land we could produce. We'd been doing it. Yeah. Could we take it and move it forward? Yeah. Uh, we could with technology, with knowledge. Moving forward meant more than doubling the 4,000 acres his dad was then planting. Today, the Brantleys raise soybeans, rice, corn, and cotton on land that stretches their farm more than 20 miles. The Brantley's crop duster took us high in the sky to overlook their expansive operation. Technology plays a key role here, even to managing the aerial spraying on the Brantley's cotton crop. Computerized applications target specific rows, reducing the amount of chemicals needed. Dow says it's all a matter of being efficient and effective. Anywhere from a guidance on the tractor or combine to computer programs in our office to help us keep up with input cost, who sprayed what field, things of that nature. Juggling harvest time on this September day means going from one crop to another. Their cotton is picked and rolled into these modules and sent straight to the mill. Their grains, stored in a state-of-the-art silo system. Dow and his dad can oversee all of their harvesting from the fields or from their home office with computers and GPS monitoring. Dow says technology like this is expensive, but pays off in lower cost for consumers. It allows us to keep a affordable food and fiber supply here in the U.S., uh, keep those uh, prices low. Uh, our, our job is to produce at the lowest cost that we can, and we do. But make no mistake, what really holds this farm together is family, a bond between father and son rooted in the land they love. Uh, it's a noble, I mean, the farming thing and, and the family farm, that's very precious to me. 
I enjoy every minute of it, working with family members, and uh, I hope he continues to be here for a long time. So we're both having fun together. Um, and we, we truly are. We're, we're blessed to have some good land. We're blessed to have some very good employees, and without them, we wouldn't be where we are today.